All right, my goal this episode also is to not let Tim ask me things like about fights he knows that I haven't watched, so I sound ignorant. So, Tim, I'm going to ask you, what's up with the Olympics, man? Like, I found out about it on my way here, actually. A lot of controversy. Found out about it on Instagram from a militant activist that's boycotting the Olympics. What's up with the Olympics? Um, there's not supposed to be a crowd there. It's going to be athletes only, I believe, because in Japan... It is a cluster over there, and with the Olympics, there's not going to be any jujitsu. I know, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but the real issue with the Olympics is that Shakari, uh, Shakari Richardson, that's her last name, correct? Y yes. Hold on, Sha I'm on the wrong air. Shakari yep. Richardson, the fastest woman in the United States, may not make it to the Olympics because she tested positive for marijuana. I'm going to let you go off because you're the one that brought – I heard about it, but this really got you upset. I mean, no, it's not even just this. This is, like, one of several things that has been happening. So first we have, like, her that's tested positive for cannabis, um, which is banned by the World Doping Agency. Um says Shakiri won the 100-meter race in 10.86 seconds, after which she became a strong candidate for the gold medal in the Olympics. And it's like, I understand that it's banned, but if she's an Olympic athlete, like, why was she using marijuana? Was it legal? Was it for recovery? Because you were telling me that you read somewhere that you can kind of, like, appeal it, or if you can prove that it's not used for athletic performance. But when you think about it, it's, you know, like, we, smoking weed isn't going to make you faster. It's um, it's something more for recovery, for sleeping, for relaxing. Um, it's not something you should be doing right before you go out on a race. So it's just interesting, and that's one of the, the many controversial things that have come up on top of that uh on top of did you like the black lives matter and all forms of protest being banned in the olympics as well that's also pissed people off how do you feel about that one okay i'm gonna tell you how i feel about it and relate it to the drug culture in jujitsu if that's okay so first let's start from shikari shikari Shakari, I'm sorry. I think it's bogus that she's getting potentially expelled from the, the Olympics before she even gets there. I don't believe that marijuana is a performance enhancing drug at all. It's medicinal in a lot of ways for people, but it's not going to give you an unfair advantage. It's not a pharmaceutical. It's not like it's made in a lab. It's a better version to me than, I would say, a bunch of pain pills. As someone that's gone through excruciating pain before from a surgery, I would smoke weed before I would smoke, or I'm sorry, before I would take pills. Not that I did when I got hurt, but I don't think that pills are any safer. They're less safe than a plant that can get grown basically anywhere. And if you got the right rig, you can grow it in the house. I don't like drug, what's the word I'm looking for? Drug prohibition, just as a principle, because it's used, it's, it's just used to oppress people. It's used very politically. Exactly. It's used very politically. Even now, like you saw the last election, you know, people, say one thing like oh it's okay i'm gonna fight against this like you know i'm gonna release people that got non-drug violent drug offenses and they use it against people mm -hmm. i mean even yesterday it became legal to grow marijuana in virginia are you aware of that yeah so i heard like, about that the legality of it the gravity of it it's always changing it's so subjective so to think about like the amount of people that have actually suffered but it's political, it. you know, it's because if, if they if they were to say that we're not even going to test it anymore, it would be it would make other countries, including the United States, look stupid or look like they act in bad faith, which I think the Olympics in general acts in bad faith in these countries that are involved in Olympics. A lot of them like ours act in bad faith where they talk out of both sides of their mouth. The Olympic Committee kind of let Russia slide with all the drug, if you watch Icarus, 
you would know what I'm talking about. Watch that movie. It's on Netflix, I think, still. These people, the Olympic community, let stuff slide for ages because of politics. But now this young woman who decided to smoke weed, and I believe she was going through a lot of life problems around the time when she lost a loved one or something around the time that she went. I, don't, I think it's bogus that she's getting, she's getting reprimanded in this way. 